In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. And St. Peter, pray for us. I still forget his last name. He's the guy who fell off his horse and changed his mind uh, through an act of God. But uh, what I'm saying is the priests, they socialize so much. And our Lord, our poor Lord in his holy face, look how much he suffers for these priests who just chit-chat and gossip. And they're not supposed to be with the la laity, you know. They're supposed to be dead to the world, and and they don't do their um, they don't they don't do their Thanksgivings anymore, really, unless it's for show, you know. They don't do it from the heart. And I'm talking about FSSP, and you you name it. The only one I know that kind of does it, and wants to do it, uh, really wants to do it would be Father Tara, you know, and Father Rappaport. They're really for that, and I'm not saying everyone has to stay 15 minutes because sometimes you have children or you have health problems, you gotta go to the bathroom or something, you know? I mean, you're old, you know, you, you know what I mean? I mean, there's reasons why sometimes, that's why we can't judge people if they can't stay. That doesn't mean they're not, they're not doing pious things in the car and at home. They could be doing their own private Thanksgiving. That's a wonderful thing. But what I'm saying is you actually should probably spend at least a couple minutes in the silence. And if the priest isn't calling the lay people to that and they're half naked walking on the altar and girls on the altar and stuff and you're hoping that you're <laughs> to reel your parish in so that they stop the gossip train and slander train, it's really, really working backwards. You're obviously walking backwards out the door of the church, really. And, and believe me, there's little there's bunny holes that you fall into or even worse potholes, sinkholes. Uh, the priest has a huge responsibility to be at the forefront of the piety. He's leading by example more than what he says. And how many of us know that? How many of us um, have followed the evil ways of our parents through their example more so than, than sometimes even what they say? You know, their example is, is uh, so important, paramount. So I'm asking the priest to please, please go back to your priesthood, review, learn, you know, pretend you don't know anything, you have to start seminary all over again, open that book of The Dignity of the Priesthood by St. Alphonsus Liguori, and uh, no, I should do that too with the, the Spouse of Christ by St. Alphonsus Liguori, and really you have to die to self, you have to die to the world, you have to die to the materialism of the world in many, many ways, but also there's the chit chat in the church, and it should not be in the church. Remember St. Paul said, if you're hungry, eat at home. You know, you don't turn turn the the church into a marketplace or a meeting hall. Now it's the Bayside prophecies there. But also, secondly, vocations. We need vocations. The church isn't really doing that great a job. We are in dire need of American priests. Educated men who want to become priests um, for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. We've got a lot of priests. Um, people, maybe they feel pressured by their parents. It's a big one because of the connections and the whole lay people running the churches, especially in the Latin sector, you know, with the money thing and the connections and all that. I'm talking about men who have this special calling and they're just haven't they're not in they're not getting the right influences in their life they should need to be called we need to scour the country for these boys and get them to have interest in the in becoming a priest and in the priesthood and i do think bishop strickland may have a special role in helping with the ordinations and this new hopefully new line of priests coming out of the church because the church will be renewed and it'll be more brilliant and spotless than any Thing we've ever imagined and it will be a beautiful wonderful thing